Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to talk about how to share our calendar access with Microsoft Outlook on the internet. Okay, so why would we want to do that? Well, there are several reasons. Say we started a club and we want to, everyone to be able to alter the calendar or see the calendar. That was one reason we might want to share with like the rest of the club. Or if you are working, you know, by yourself and you have a secretary, you're like an independent contractor, but you have a secretary and your secretary needs to make your appointments, you're going to need to share your calendar access with your secretary also so she can talk to the VIPs that will be calling you. So right now we're going to go to a calendar in um, Microsoft Outlook, which you can get through your Hotmail or MSN. Right up here you'll see the word share. You'll drag that down. This is Rachel's calendar, that's me. And it says share with people you choose. I'm going to share it with myself. <laughs> and now my, now my other person that I'm sharing with now, I can designate them to be a co-owner which allows them to um, be able to add dates and things like that, or we can give them any kind of access. So they can just be able to view, edit, and delete items, but not create uh, items, or they can just view the details. They can view free, busy, times, dates, locations. So depending on how much um, power you want to give them over the calendar is what you would designate. So I trust myself pretty much, so I'm going to give myself co-ownership of this calendar, and I'm going to hit share. And then I'm going to hit close. And now um, I'm also able to uh, use my Hotmail calendar, which is now Outlook on Microsoft, as well as uh, me doing it. So thank you, and I hope this was helpful.